Hi, once again. My name is Fernando Cordeiro and I'm a 3D and graphic designer here at Magic Planet. In this quick video, we are going to show you how to use the 3D data extracted from the Magic Plan app inside of SketchUp. Let's do it! If you already are a Magic Plan user, you should be familiar with the Sketch functionality. But if you don't, go ahead and download the app from the Apple Store or Google Play Store. What you are seeing right now is how I created the floor plan of the studio where I recorded this video. I used wall and object detection supported by LiDAR to create the walls, windows and door inside the Magic Plan app. And this is how I did it. I created a new project, choose a floor and finally add a room using the scan with camera option. After calibrating the app using the floor as a guide, I started to point at each wall and click in the center of the screen, following wall by wall till the whole room is captured. After the last wall, I click Done, point the eye patch to the ceiling and tap to the center of the screen. Then I start to add windows and the door, pointing the eye patch to each one of them and defining the characteristics using the menu at the bottom of the screen. Finally, I choose to exit AR to conclude my scanning. Now I will access the Magic Plan website and log in into my account to access directly in my computer the 3D file that we will import to SketchUp. I'll select the share button on the top of the UI and select export. In the 3D model tab, I'll select and download the .obj file type. You can see that the file is now on my desktop. Now we are going to open SketchUp and before creating a new project, we need to install two extensions. The first one is the Quad Face Tools from the author TomTom that will help us with quad topology and the import of the .obj data to SketchUp. The second one is the TT library an organizational tool from the same author that will manage the first extension. After installing the extensions, we need to restart the SketchUp application. When SketchUp reopen, we can choose an architectural scene based in centimeters as a starting point to our new project. With the new scene open, we can import the .obj file on the desktop using the command file import obj files before importing make sure that the scale of the file is set to meters like this the real size scale of the elements will be applied now i'll just align the whole studio room to the base of the x axis of the scene To facilitate the viewing of the shading, I'll deactivate the edge styles. But keep in mind, this is just a personal preference. In the outliner, 
you can see that the structure and naming convention of the file is intact, making it easy to identify, access or modify any element on the project. Using the double-click method, it's also very easy to select polygons and apply any type of material or shading. Now, I just save my project as a SketchUp file. Done! Taking measurements by hand and building everything inside SketchUp is a thing from the past. Using this workflow, you can scan any space and bring the 3D data from the Magic Plan app to SketchUp in just a couple of minutes. Please share with us images from your projects using this workflow and use the comment section below to express all your doubts, comments or suggestions. This is very important for us. And I see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Bye bye.